Welcome back to another episode of How to Cook Things Properly and Also Make Food. No, no, no! Hi, and welcome back to Cooking Stuff with Ryan. And also, welcoming back once again, my, my assistant, Hillary. I hate you all. Alright, let's get right into it. Okay, so first, let's start off with your ingredients. What you're going to need? One pack of ramen noodles, you know, if you're just cooking for yourself. If you're cooking for multiple people, you know, just add on packages of ramen noodles, you know, until you've got enough ramen noodles, right? Okay, so just guess how much you're going to need, right? You're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. You're going to need uh, some soy sauce. And just because I happen to have it right now, if you do have it, I like to add some teriyaki sauce, you know? It's got it's kind of some sweetness to it, but it's got a little bit of almost spice. Not really too much spice, but it's got a little bit of spice in there. And then lastly, you're going to need a knife. Uh, where, did, where did my knife go? Oh. Th thanks, Hillary, for holding that. Holding that for me. All right? Thank, thank you. Give me that back, you moronic sis. Now let's get cooking. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is you're going to need a pot, of course, duh, but I just didn't say it before. You're going to need to fill that, you know, about, um, huh. So like I said, you're going to need a pot, man, depending on the size of your pot, if you have a bigger pot like this, I can fill it about halfway with water. If you got maybe a smaller pot, maybe a little more water in there because it's going to be a lot steamed off. Okay, so then we're just going to need to put that on to boil. Um, while we do that, we need to open up our ramen noodles here. Thank you, Hillary, for holding this. Um, so, just get the, get the, let's see, knives, stuff. Okay, so you don't need to get those, but you don't need the noodles yet. You can just, um, there you go, hold those for me. Uh. Basically, what you need is the, uh, you need this packet, right? Of course, you gotta have the packet. This, um, this recipe I'm using really works mostly, it works a lot better for beef ramen than any others. Uh, just due to the way that the different, uh, seasonings that come with the ramen are done. You're gonna need, you know. So, but this one, this one calls for the beef ramen, because, um, it just goes with the flavors better. So, before the water's even boiling, put that in there, and get it stirred around very well. Really well. Uh... So that as it's as it's warming up, the uh, this seasoning that comes with the ramen is already in there and kind of forming into the water. So that when you put the ramen in, the seasoning is already hot and can soak into the noodles a lot better. Yeah, that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wait for this pot of water to boil and stir it. You know, just make sure that all the seasoning is broken up. It can sometimes come apart a little better once it's actually warm. So, um, we're just gonna let this boil for a moment. Ramen noodle soup. It's a real tasty treat. You can eat it when you want it, and you don't have to worry about it getting stuck in your teeth. Some say that it's amazing, and you gotta know it's the truth. So, why don't you go and have a big old bowl of ramen noodle soup? Okay, now that our water's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles in. Uh, where did those go? Oh, that's right. Now, I've seen people where they break them up, but these are supposed to be noodles, like big, long noodles. This is not supposed to be rigatoni. You put the whole thing in so you have those nice, long noodles. And if eh, that's too hard for you, then just go away. Why are you even cooking in the first place? You can cut it up when it's on the plate if you really have to do that. So now I'm going to begin to add some of my uh, other ingredients. Now that the ramen noodles are actually cooking, we'll put a little bit of soy sauce in. You know, just until you, you know, however much you like. I don't know how much you prefer. I don't know if you prefer kind of more, you know, salty things or, you know, however you like it. A little bit of our teriyaki. Like I said, it's got a little bit of that spice, a little bit of red pepper flakes in teriyaki sauce usually. So I like to add a little bit of that. And then some Worcestershire sauce to add a little more tanginess as opposed to just kind of sodium-ish, you know what I mean? Put some of that in there. Now, you'll have to really taste as you go to know how much you need to put in, but I like to start with just, you know, some kind of standard amounts of this stuff. 
get that in there, you know, mix it around, get your noodles kind of broken up there so they're actually noodles in the pot. Uh, so, okay, so I've tested the noodles. Uh, they taste done, or not taste done, but, you know, they have the consistency of done noodles. Um, so now we just need to plate it up. And, uh, all right, let me just show you, show you what's happening now. So make sure you get... So make sure that you don't use a big wooden fork. It's a great cooking utensil, but it doesn't work so well for actually getting your pasta out. Use an actual pasta spoon scoop thing to get your pasta out of the pasta water. Gotta let it drip there, you know, kinda. You don't want it to all drip everywhere else, so let it drip there. And then I'm kind of, I know a lot of people like to just pour Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people, uh, they like to put all, they just like to pour basically their whole pot of water in with their ramen noodles uh, when they put it in, when they put it in a bowl. Uh, I, I don't like that. I like, I like a little bit of juice in the bottom, you know, see when you stir it around that it still gets uh, rehydrated, you know, if it's been sitting on top for a while, then it can get kind of meh, you know what I mean? So I typically get all my noodles out first. Then I'll just take the pot very carefully. I'll just put a little I'll just put a little bit of juice on, you know. Just to make sure that it can be rehydrated. Then after uh, it's all on the plate, typically the sauce kinda it soaks in the noodles, but typically it it doesn't provide as much flavor as you would want, or for me anyway. So I like to drip a little bit of extra, extra sauce on top there, and then a little bit of extra Worcestershire sauce as well on top there, and then you just stir that up. Now it's time for the final taste test. I know I've tasted a little bit, but I haven't final, have final taste of it yet, after I've plated it, you know, you know. Okay, so I've got some Mm, that's pretty good. What do you think? So, yeah. Now it's, uh, it's really good. Really good. Mm. All right, then. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's again very good. I'm going to go eat this. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, yeah, just thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you have any other suggestions for video uh, for videos I could make, uh, make sure you comment down below. Tell me what you thought, and uh, if you want to see more like this, you know, or if you have other ideas, just put it in the comments. I read them all. All right, make sure you subscribe, and all. Yep. All right. Cool. Bye. I like food.